a late night in Brooks Diner and looking for more uh, actually perfect for this actually because I am looking for a secret a secret that we already know about and that is the brand new movie code and let me tell you this you might know of this code you might have already found this code and put it in although this is brand new stuff guys the update just dropped there's a new movie code but in case you have already found this code, let me tell you this. I'm going to be going over what this movie means and everything inside of the movie itself and the meaning behind it and what Mr. Brookhaven, uh, the whole storyline uh, about what the movie entails, more about the Brookhaven history. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I just want a uh, gaming queen here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Gaming Queen is in the lobby here. Uh, okay, okay, look at that. She's representing the merch. Absolutely fantastic, Gaming Queen. I'm loving the merch. All right, so either way, we got to get on our way here uh, because this is a big one, guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit the post notification for the bell. Make it go ding. If you're not a subscriber of the channel, are you good? What are you doing? Just hit the subscribe button. Stop. Stop doing that to yourself. Hit the subscribe button. You'll feel a lot better. Um, all right. So have you seen the new message in the quantum room? True. There is a new message in the quantum room. It is quite crazy, shall I say. But we will go here and get this code because, guys, this video is mainly about the movie, the new movie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a new movie. I'm good to grab your popcorn. But yeah, so I don't know why I have a gun. The gun is pointless, actually. So what we want to do is we want to... Oh, look. First try. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was a bit uh, easier than expected. I mean, nobody's going to play me in the secret end place. But anyways, so yeah, you want to find the perfect location right there at that arc. Now, the interesting thing about this, guys, and before we even knew there was a new movie, I knew the suspicion about this was very strong, and here's why, guys. Whenever you teleport to the top of the arc and the beam of light kind of connects, it runs, the beam of light goes inside this little hill here where the arc is, and I thought, maybe that leads to something, right? Well, sure enough, it does, and here's our movie code here, 23627. And where is it at? Let me write that down on my on my little notepad here, 236. Two, seven. That's just in case, so I don't miss it and look dumb. Anyway, so we are here, guys. We got our code now. Isn't that crazy to find another movie reel? Now, I haven't actually checked the movie reel. Oh, no, dude. How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. I actually haven't checked the movie reel underneath the agency bunker. You guys remember there was the hidden movie reel underneath the agency bunker? We might have to take a quick peek at that today just to see if maybe there's a code on that as well. And maybe we've been overlooking a whole nother movie. But I'm pretty sure in the actual game files of Brookhaven right now, there's no other movies other than the one that we just found. So that's a good thing to kind of note down uh, with your pen and pad but uh yeah so look at this amazing update it's just the best update to run all right let's go in here and then play this new movie and well absorb everything that it is all right so nope nobody's played the film yet let's go here and what was the code guys do you guys remember what was the code anyway no nobody because i don't remember i gotta go back to no i'm kidding i right, here it is uh, <laughs> two three six two seven and let's play the film. Let's get it. Get on our seat. Get on our seat. I don't got my popcorn, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So here we go. Here we go. All right. So this looks like pool construction. Uh, no, this is constructing of somewhere. The police office, the hospital, maybe. It, it, it's kind of looking like the hospital. That's the hospital, right? Okay. So guys, I've I barely watched this film, so I'm kind of going over with you guys as well. I think that's the hospital right there. Uh, then we have the main area of Brookhaven. Look at the the fountain area. It looks totally different, right? The fountain area looks totally different, but it pretty much is shaped up to be what we see today in Brookhaven. And there is Mr. Brookhaven himself in a tuxedo, confirming everything, being rather rich all of a sudden. You guys remember in the one movie about Mr. Brookhaven, how he wasn't so, well, fortified in his ways of finances, I guess you could say. Now look at him confirming everything as if he just inherited a ton of money to be able to fund a whole city called and named after him mr brookhaven because the city brookhaven so it's like he, he's a rich man all of a sudden because he happened to find treasure now this is interesting we get to see this card we get to see everything regarding this and it gets extremely interesting because we're seeing bits and pieces of everything oh oh oh, 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 oh look at this look at this look at this okay guys this right here is him going to the top of the church. Now, we're going to glitch into the top of the church here in a second and take a little peek at what he was picking at. So, as you can tell, he's working around here. He is doing something at the top of the church, signifying and adding, additionalizing his energy crystals that he has kind of going around. And then we have Lake Madison here for sale, a house for sale at Lake Madison, one of the newer houses there. If you guys recall that house, that's a very interesting house house to choose uh but there he is at lake madison he's standing on some water or something here i'm not exactly sure but this is crazy this is crazy all right so and that is the movie there so we had a lot to take from that movie 
Um, it, it's so many secrets, so many secrets. All right, so let, let's go here. Now, let's go on up and let's get on with it. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to go to the top of the church, see what's going in there real quick before we go to Lake Madison and test some stuff regarding that. So in order to get to the top of the church, we're going to need a few things, a ladder and a good old trusty sleeping bag. What would we do without the camping update? Okay, the sleeping bag and the camping update changed work even forever. And I think that uh, that's the truth to it. All right, so let's go up here. Boom, place this here. All right, and I'm up top, all righty, there we go. All right, so what I wanna do now is just place this right here and take a quick peek inside. All right, it looks like the energy crystal is still there, but there's a little bit of a, a, a transparent block here that I don't recall seeing previously. So that's very odd, but I'm sure if you pull the bell, the, the energy is gonna connect to the crystal and then the soul is going to rise up to the, the, the ceiling and get consumed by the energy crystal of something. I, I don't know the true meaning behind these crystals, but I do know they are worth a lot. And apparently they are giving fortune to Mr. Brookhaven and enlightenment to like no degree. Like it might not even have to be fortune that's delivered. It might just be the enlightenment of understanding how to easily obtain fortune, right? People don't think about that. <laughs> so who knows what these crystals are truly doing for Mr. Brookhaven, but they're doing something special, right? And I think that's interesting. So anyways, guys, now we got that. Let's go to Lake Madison and look at what's going on over there. Why is Lake Madison always a big concern? Who is Madison? Is Madison someone uh, Brookhaven knows? Well, considering Brookhaven named the whole city after himself, maybe Lake Madison is a very, very nice friend of Mr. Brookhaven, right? Maybe Madison's someone that Mr. Brookhaven loves. I don't know, but that is very interesting. Um, and people are saying that, uh, you know, Rosie's Gym just kind of started up, guys, that Rosie's Gym might be named after another character in the Brookhaven lore. I, I personally can't confirm that right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, Wolfpack's kind of made it seem like, you know, Rosie's Gym was just kind of named after our wonder wonderful, adorable cat friend here named Rosie. You guys can see her over on Instagram, links below. But, uh, yeah, so it gets interesting. But anyways, let's go here and let's get the lake house. Uh-huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me the lake house. Now, let's go here and which house was it, guys? You remember which house it was? I need some assistance here. Which house was it? Um, it was this house. It was this house here. So, this house actually has the solar panels on top. And what we can confirm now here live in this video is this was Mr. Brookhaven's home. Okay? This was actually Mr. Brookhaven's home right here on the lake. This is where Mr. Brookhaven lived. And to confirm to you guys even more that this is Mr. Brookhaven's home. If we go up into the attic, that's gonna confirm everything we need to know. Here we go. Come on. There we go. No, no, come on, dude. There we go. What's in the attic? Energy crystals. So this is definitely Mr. Brookhaven's home, guys. And why he lives at Lake Madison, I don't know, but he definitely has a connection to Lake Madison and there might be something that is revealed to us. Uh, that we never expected, right? And what is behind the house here in Lake Madison? A cave. So there's a lot of room for expansion here to kind of evolve the lore, evolve everything that is, you know, the Mr. Brookhaven mystery. And you guarantee we'll be getting down to the bottom of it the second that we have any new information regarding it. As per usual, this is an investigation and it's an ongoing one. And we are trying to figure out everything we can about Brookhaven and its secrets because there's a lot. Many secrets that I haven't even got to touch base on yet that, uh, yeah, guys, consider this is just like a video that I'm uploading today talking about the movie there's still secrets that was already in the update that has nothing to do with the movie you know well I guess they kind of connect in some ways but like dude it gets crazy the next secrets I'm going to be talking about is about the agency and what they're doing and how they're kind of doing what they're doing uh to an extent and who we can and cannot trust when it comes to well Brookhaven and its strange characters that seem to be appearing and disappearing there's a lot to go into. So, guys, hit the like button, subscribe. If you learned something new, also hit the like button. You know, we got content here a couple days, no days, every day. We, we upload every day, uh, usually around 10 a.m. EST. Depends, really, uh, where you are in the world. But look at this, people. I always say, guys, if you see me in a lobby, you better have the blue edition, rosy tuna hoodie. All right? You better have it. If you ain't got it, get out of here. But, uh, <laughs> Joseph's side guys, thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.